I'm Jessica Goddithan. This is your Thursday evening KRQE.com webcast. We start with John Smith in the forecast. We will be watching a storm system moving into our direction through the overnight hours, and we'll actually see a little bit of the precip develop across the four corners through the overnight hours. That'll expand into the northern mountains and the metro throughout tomorrow morning, and then into the eastern part of the state by the afternoon as our cold front drags across the state. We'll clear out over the weekend. We'll be looking at more sunshine, but temperatures will be definitely feeling more fall like. Former APD officer Connor Rice walked out of court a free man today, acquitted of battery charges prompted by how he handled a couple of suspects a year ago. The jurors started deliberating late yesterday afternoon. The verdict was announced just before noon today. Connor Rice says he's thankful the stressful ordeal is finally over and that it's ending with what he feels is a just verdict. This lapel camera video played over and over in the media and in the courtroom. It's from May 31st of last year during an APD drug investigation. You can see Rice tase a suspect who had already been tased and then later hit another suspect who was on the ground, shouting, I surrender. But in court, Rice says he was following procedures and that this suspect was resisting. One wreck on I-40 near Moriarty led to another wreck that killed a person. Torrance County Sheriff's deputies say it started when a bus carrying kids to the pumpkin patch missed its exit and turned around on the interstate, causing two other cars to crash. Nine people, including a pregnant woman, were taken to the hospital. The kids on the bus were not hurt. Then, while deputies were working that crash, another car rear-ended a semi that had slowed down because of the first crash. The driver of that car was killed. Join us for more news tonight at 10.